Welcome to the Mercedes Wilson Show. Since 2000, when Rachel Lamper released her debut album, Live For You, she's been busy. This powerful Dove Award winner has toured the world with her music. She's achieving amazing accomplishments in her life thus far and still makes time to minister by way of People Loving Nashville, a nonprofit organization whose mission is to feed and clothe the homeless of Nashville. She's, she also teaches in Nashville Women's Jail, which I can't wait to talk about that. You're amazing. for chatting with me. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning because I've been listening to you since 2002, right? Okay. Let's go yep. back to the beginning. You've been singing all your life. Yes, yes. I, um, yeah, I don't remember a time where I wasn't singing and I, I don't see a, a video from my childhood where I wasn't singing <laughs> or finding a way into the video to sing for people. So. Climbing your way yeah. into the video to sing? I love oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. It was, it was obnoxious. <laughs> but you could sing perfect harmony since you were four, really? <laughs> According, according to mom, but you know, now that I'm a mom, I, I probably, I probably, that, that could have been, you know, who knows? She, she was definitely my biggest fan uh -huh. from the beginning. So, so whatever, uh, yeah, if, if that's the story, I'll go with it. <laughs> now you grew up in Colorado. Yes. Um, take us back to when you were young, Rachel Lampa performing yeah. all over the place. Okay. Yeah, I so basically, yeah, since I can remember, I, I've been singing um, just any opportunity that I, I could go be in front of people and sing, I took. Um, so that was everything from like local coffee shops to like every talent show I ever heard of. Um, and then eventually it turned into singing at church, um, which was something that uh, I actually grew up in a Catholic church when I was younger. And so it wasn't like something that was as typical as it would be, um, in other churches to just get up and sing, you know, mm -hmm. um, um, there was more, more structured stuff at the Catholic church, but this, this Catholic church ended up just embracing me and just, um, allowing me to get up. I would sing like Mariah Carey songs <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the service. In the they really the liked you, Rachel. It was fun. It was, uh -huh. it was a really fun way to, um, yeah, honestly, to to draw close to to God and also um, be able to uh, recognize what what this passion was inside of me that was that was actually a gift, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it was. Um, it, I really have to say, like the like music and singing and all and and all of that, like was such a big part of me of of the way that God chose to um, show me His love. And, yeah. And, and the way that I can express my love to him too. So um, it was really cool. Yeah. So I just kind of through childhood kind of sang it at, at everything, sporting events, um, all of that. And so eventually when I was 14, I um, was asked to sing at this little coffee shop um, up in the mountains, just a few minutes from my house, really. And um, it ended up being a uh, basically a, a conference slash songwriter competition I had no idea what it was. I just sang. I just showed up and sang. But it ended up being um, a big Christian music event, and there were wow. lots of um, record labels and managers and agents there. And um, that's kind of where I got my start in the professional. Yeah. Way. So you were signed at the age of 14. I was. What was yeah. that like? Take us through your mind at that time or your life. What? What? How did life change? Yeah. Well, for me, I mean, I, I was so, you know, well protected and well surrounded. Um, my parents were just, they were there all the whole time and, um, were able to protect me from some of the, the pressures and the, uh, the grown upness of, of the business mm -hmm. and just kind of keep it fun and focused on the right things. Um, so for me, it was, you know, I, I, I what I remember is like, I get to get on airplanes every week and <laughs> go fun places and sing and miss school, <laughs> you know? Yep, so to yep. me, I was, 
<laughs> I was living, I was living life. Uh, but the part that, that I, that again, I'll just keep coming back to like, I, I when, I, when you're 14, you know, your faith can be beautiful and strong and childlike and mm-hmm. all of that. And, um, I, I feel like that was really protected and really yeah. encouraged. Um, and so, um, so there was this other whole element of it, um, aside from, you know, all the, the hustle and bustle that was like, I'm really like getting to spend time with my, my father, like the, yeah. like this God that I've kind of been wondering about and trying to figure out. Um, it was, it's been, it was, it was really sweet for, for my faith. Yeah. Yeah. I rededicated my life back to Christ in 2000. I was 18 and, um, I remember when no greater love, the first time I heard that. And you know, there, there are certain songs that you can worship to, but then there's certain songs that put things into perspective yeah, for you. Yeah. Wow. And that song put things into perspective That's so awesome. for my life and being a new believer. Um, yeah. that song blessed my soul. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. It's so cool how like the truth like holds, you know? Yeah. yeah. Cause that's like, I, I mean, I, that was, yeah, almost, yeah, it was like 18 years ago. Or yeah. I yeah. Don't know the math, but stop it's, telling it's, folks my age, Rachel. Yeah. No, same, same. <laughs> We're both guilty. We're right. Both guilty. Uh, but you know, it, you, it, it's, it's it still, it still gets me too, you yeah. know, like, and it's, it's, you know, just this, it's just the truth. It just keeps kind of coming back and continues yeah. to, to, to work and to mean something. Yeah. Yeah. And before we go, you played ball. <laughs> you played I did, basketball. I did. All of my friends laugh at me when I when I tell them this, but I did. I I was on the outside and I shot threes and I was a point guard and I didn't get anywhere close because I'm five one. I'm five one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I I every once in a while I could like kind of kind of maneuver my way through under people's legs. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I have I have a 13 year old daughter and a 17 year old son that play basketball. Oh, so, oh so God. give them a couple pieces of advice. Oh man. I, oh gosh. I, I don't even remember. I, for me, I, uh, stay out I, and shoot threes. Yes. Yeah, stay out, <laughs> shoot threes. But, I, but I'm, I'm five one. So I don't know how, uh, where, where they belong in the key, but that was, that was my zone. So it's always safe out there. You don't get hurt very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, stay with me, Rachel, because I want to talk about the nonprofit organization that you and your family lead that blesses so many. So you stay with me and you stay with us as well. We'll be back with Rachel Lampa. Power965radio.com, the new sound of Buffalo, is a proud supporter of the Mercedes Wilson Show. They have a full lineup of unique programs. Find out more about the station's owner, Sheila Brown, in her new book, 29 Years of Preparation, at Power965radio.com. Hello, Buffalo. My name is Yvette Phillips. I started a group five years ago called We Are Buffalo Strong. One day, my kids and I were driving in downtown Buffalo, and we noticed so many people sleeping under the bridge. I wanted to do something, but my resources were low. So I reached out to a few family members and friends, and we began taking food downtown once a month to feed our homeless community, some of which were veterans. After becoming 2017's Humanitarian of the Year, more volunteers started helping our group. Since 2013, we've fed 6,460 people. My goal is to make sure no one goes hungry or cold in the city of Buffalo, which is called the city of good neighbors. I challenge you to make a difference in your community. Be the change you want to see. Together, we are all Buffalo Strong. I'm Stephanie Krebs from Young Living Essential Oils. Do you realize being healthy is more than just diet and exercise? It's what you apply to your body. What products are in your home and your environment? Don't be overwhelmed. I'm here to help you one step at a time. With a company that is based on integrity and passion, Young Living Essential Oils. Call me at 585-708-4020 or my website, myyl.com backslash body sense. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. I have the Rachel Lampa with me today, and we get to talk everything Rachel Lampa, everything ministry, everything music. I'm so excited to have you with me. So excited. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited, too. All right. So let's talk about the nonprofit organization, People Loving Nashville. Take us us back to the beginning. 
So this was started 11 years ago, actually, um, on a Monday night um, with my older brother, Ryan. Um, we had, had too much food, made too much food on Thanksgiving night and um, decided to pack a few meals up and, um, and take them downtown Nashville. Um, and we kind of, you know, just didn't know what we were doing. We just had like a, an armful of, of, of food and, um, figured or found, found some friends to sit down with and, and, and eat with basically. And from that, uh, time on, we just continued to invite our friends and we told them to invite their friends. And, um, so every Monday for 11 years, um, we've, uh, we've been able to serve meals. We're up to about 400 meals every Monday, um, wow. with tons of volunteers on our side and tons of, um, people showing up downtown and it's become just, it's honestly become the, the food is so secondary now. It's yeah. just so much more about the friendships, the relationships, the progress, the, um, just the way that we kind of are walking our lives side by side. Yeah. How was it yeah. received the first time you did it 11 years ago? Was it, was it well received? Yeah. So yeah, you know, it's, it's always, it, it's, it's a clumsy process sometimes, you know, sometimes you're not sure, um, who to ask or if that's okay to ask or, yeah. um, so actually the very first night actually it was just my brother and his friends and they, um, they more or less just struck up a conversation with, with some people and throughout that conversation found out that they were hungry. And, um, and that's kind of how that happened. And then there's such, there's such community, you know, among, among the people that are living without housing right now that we realize yeah. there's, there's a whole, um, there's a whole system down there. And so we, we want to be part of it. We want to, we want to, when we want them to be part of our system and try to mingle and figure out, um, how to come up with some solutions and, yeah. um, and just, just be together. What do you think this organization has done, um, not only for your family, but for you and your walk? Yeah. I mean, I think if anything, it's, it's showing me the body of Christ, yeah. what the body of Christ really looks like. And that it's not just, um, people that look like me and people that live like me. And, um, you know, you can grow up for, for so long, kind of just kind of surrounding yourself with people that, um, that are, you know, in your circle. And, yeah. um, I have just seen so much more beauty in, in other people's stories, um, in other people's, um, ways that they've chosen to live life and, um, the, the hardships that they've come through and the hope that they still carry. I mean, it's all, it, it, it's, you know, it's it, the, it, when you were, when we're doing these things to the least of these, we're doing yeah. it unto Jesus. Yep. And so to even see Jesus in, um, people like that I, you know, that I come across all the time, um, is, uh, that, that is what really speaks to me. Yeah. There's something else that you do that really uh, touched my heart when I learned about it. You, uh, serve by way of teaching in a Nashville woman's jail one to two times a week. Yes. How did that yeah. start? So this is another thing that I actually do with my siblings. So, so people living in Nashville, I run with my three other siblings. Um, so this is also another piece of it. Um, my brother's wife, Joanna runs something called, um, the wild ones Academy, uh, um, in the, in the Nashville jail. And basically she, um, <clears throat> provides like classes and, um, uh, whether it's, you know, nutrition classes or yeah. songwriting classes or Bible classes, um, and we just go in and we, um, we teach about what we know. We teach about <clears throat> mental health and, um, uh, but really honestly, it's again, it's so much that the teaching is so secondary. It's so much more about just showing up for each other mm -hmm. and learning each other, hearing people's stories and, yeah. and reminding them that, that like God's love can handle all of it and yeah. God's grace and God's mercy. And, uh, it's, um, you know, uh, so many times what I hear is, um, you know, uh, from, from inmates is I have had people my whole life, um, come to me talking about Jesus and in God's name <clears throat> and end up being hurt by them, you know? And yeah. so to be able to come in, um, and really, really focus and on, on God's heart on really what he thinks of them and then trying to reflect that, um, it's been such a game changer. Yeah. Do you think it's, it's harder for some <laughs> to accept the fact that forgiveness is real when they're actually in a jail? Yes. And yes. Yeah. It's, it, it's definitely, 
there's, there's, there's a whole thing to it because for sure, like a lot, there's a lot of girls that are, that don't feel like they can be forgiven that feel like they've yeah. been pushed out of the circle. And that is, that's that ho the hopelessness is their only option. Yeah. Um, but there's also this beautiful thing about being inside is that they are, um, <clears throat> they have nothing left to lose yeah. at that point. They yeah. are, they are open. You know, they're like ready for a change. And the awesome thing is, you know, we're just reminded and we try to remind the girls like, like God used us. God used you. God uses the, the broken ones like hardcore. Abraham was old. Elijah was suicidal. <laughs> Joseph was abused. There were prisoners. There were, uh, you know, outcasts. You know, yeah. that's that's who he that's who he uses. And yeah. um, so as much as we want to help them know that they're forgiven and loved, like we need them too. We yeah. need them on, on our, in, in our army, you know? Yeah. And so um, it's a really beautiful, beautiful thing to be part of. Well, thank you and your family for being such a huge blessing mm -hmm. um, to Nashville. I'm sure they love you there. Um, but... <laughs> it's fun. We got a whole, we got a whole group of people. It's oh, great. I love it. But you stay there because next okay. we're going to talk everything, Rachel. I love okay. the stuff you're doing now. So stay with us and you stay with us as well. We have more from Rachel Lampa. Since I made my first beat, I knew music was a passion. Along with the beat makers in my company, I get to share my passion. Music is a way to dream. And now I get a chance to make dreams come true. Welcome to Soundmaster Beats. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Providing wellness and ministry services for your church and family with master herbalist, iridologist, and conference speaker Caprice Butts. Are you as healthy as you want to be? Nutritional help is just a click away with online wellness packages and consultations. Or grab your friends and book a wellness workshop for your church group. Plus, get daily inspiration to revive you from the inside out. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Subscribe today for a free wellness guide. True Color Strategy, your CMO for hire, bringing strategic business, brand, and marketing solutions to find your nugget of truth. To learn more, visit www.truecolorstrategy.com. Hello, Buffalo. My name is Yvette Phillips. I started a group five years ago called We Are Buffalo Strong. One day, my kids and I were driving in downtown Buffalo, and we noticed so many people sleeping under the bridge. I wanted to do something, but my resources were low. So I reached out to a few family members and friends, and we began taking food downtown once a month to feed our homeless community, some of which were veterans. After becoming 2017's Humanitarian of the Year, more volunteers started helping our group. Since 2013, we fed 6,460 people. My goal is to make sure no one goes hungry or cold in the city of Buffalo which is called the City of Good Neighbors. I challenge you to make a difference in your community. Be the change you want to see. Together, we are all Buffalo Strong. So welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show, and Rachel is still here with me. Now we get to talk everything, Rachel Lampa. All right. Everything. <laughs> 2016, something big happened. Yes. What happened in yes. your life? Jackson McCarthy happened. <laughs> my little, my little baby boy, um, was born and, uh, definitely changed the game for me. Um, I had spent most of my life touring, recording, um, bouncing around the world as, as I pleased. <laughs> um, and that's not an option anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, um, yeah, I decided to take a, a big break, um, from traveling and singing, um, once I had Jackson, but, um, but all the while writing songs, um, actually yeah. a lot with my husband, we, we wrote, um, a lot of songs together. Yeah. And, um, I, I kind of hit a point when Jackson was about one, one and a half, um, when I realized, um, I wanted to share these things again, you know, and that, um, and honestly that just, God was like, I've, I've, I've got a new season for you, you yeah, know? And, yeah. um, so, uh, you know, the best way that I could think about putting those out was, um, on my own independently. Yeah. So, good for um, you. So, you know, sometimes it's, yeah, sometimes it's kind of, 
like it's just fun thing to be like you know not not have all the expectations and all the pressure and just um make music and put it out yes yeah. and, and connect with people one-on-one -on -one. what was the biggest lesson with your new motherhood what's the biggest thing i i have to say um that le like letting go <laughs> and letting go of control it has a whole new meaning. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. There's definitely, there are definitely so many things, not only that, like that we have no control over, but that once we think we do, it's like, it's, it all changes yeah. right away. It's yeah. Like, oh, I've got, I've got this, this, you know. Yeah, no, you don't. This, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, I'm about to do potty training. Like, I don't got this. <laughs> we'll just see. We'll just see. Yeah. I love it. And you release your music now in a very interesting way. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Tell everybody how you do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, I, I realized that there are not, I, I don't have to answer to anybody in uh, so much so these days. So I've just kind of started putting out songs that reflected my heart at the time and um, that don't necessarily fit in in any certain genre. Mm -hmm. um, the first song I, I released was Side of My Heart. It's a song about reconnecting to your inner child, to um, the dreams that um, that you may have had when you were young and and kind of the tension of being being a grown up, you know, and trying to hang on to those dreams and um, trying to, you know, have life to the fullest at the same time. Yeah. Um, so that, that song, you know, kind of came out of nowhere. And then the next song I, I put out was a song called He's Good. And I was, and that was just like a all out, like, this is what I believe. This is, this is the deal. This is my party song. He's good. And it's all that matters. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like, and then, and then just put out a, a song called So Long, yeah. which um, <clears throat> was um, a really, really deep, deeply um, special song to me. Um, and this song is, is sort of a song about a lot of stories of, of my life and other people's lives with um, either having bad relationships, mm -hmm. bad people, bad, uh, or bad, bad, yeah, just people in your life that have kind of caused um, for unhealth um, or even addictions, um, things that we just need to say goodbye to. Um, in order to move forward in our lives. So yeah. that song was just kind of like, I don't know where that belongs either, but um, <laughs> I've, I'm just going to put them out and yeah. just uh, see what happens. Well, you've been yeah. doing ministry since you, like, obviously before you got signed, but when you got signed, your life just took a total different uh, route. Can yes. you speak to someone that maybe in a different season, I mean, you've experienced different seasons in your life. Speak to someone that may be saying, okay, my season is changing, um, but yeah. is God still the same God? Speak to someone today that may be, yeah. you know, going through some changes. Yeah, I mean, you said it, like that That has been such a powerful, um, even phrase, just that God stays the same. Um, <clears throat> I always think about God's steadiness, you know, and almost like a beat to a song, like just a very, um, he, when we're doing this yeah. and we're in our brains and our hearts are like, like pushing and pulling, um, God, he has this steady beat and this, this calmness and this, you know, all knowing, um, sovereign, you know, heart for us. And, uh, and, and the whole, and all the time, I feel like even through this changing of the seasons, like all he wants me to do is draw close. Yeah. Um, and so I, if, if you are, a musician and you're, you're unsigned and you want to be signed or you're about to be signed or you're going the other direction. Like all I can say is like draw close to God yeah. because he, he will be steady. He will keep your, um, your, your art yeah. steady. He will yeah. keep your heart steady. He, he'll, um, he'll allow you your, your true self to stay intact. And that, um, that is what matters. I mean, I mean, yeah. honestly for me, it was like, I, I don't know what genre I am. I don't know uh, wh which direction I want to go with this, but who am I truly? Who is that true person that, that, that God created? And um, and the only way to do that was to really lean in and, um, yeah, is to, to, to stay close to God. Thank you, Rachel, for your time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, um, thank you. Two more things. Tell folks how they can support the nonprofit and tell folks where they can find your music. Awesome. Okay, so... People Loving Nashville, uh, we are on all the 
socials, um, peoplelovingnatural.com. Um, we've got lots of fun things that we do and we've got fundraisers and places to donate. And if you're ever in Nashville, come hang out with us. It really is like the best time. It's so fun. Um, and then for uh, my music, again, all the socials, it's Rachel Lampa on Facebook, Instagram, uh, yeah, Twitter, all of the above. You're everywhere. Um, yeah. Easy to find. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. And we will talk to you soon. Sounds good. Thank you. Ever since I made my first beat, I knew music was a passion. Along with the beat makers in my company, I get to share my passion. Music is a way to dream. And now I get a chance to make dreams come true. Welcome to Soundmaster Beats. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Providing wellness and ministry services for your church and family with master herbalist, iridologist, and conference speaker Caprice Butts. Are you as healthy as you want to be? Nutritional help is just a click away with online wellness packages and consultations. Or grab your friends and book a wellness workshop for your church group. Plus, get daily inspiration to revive you from the inside out. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Subscribe today for a free wellness guide. True Color Strategy, your CMO for hire, bringing strategic business, brand, and marketing solutions to find your nugget of truth. To learn more, visit www.truecolorstrategy.com. Wardrobe for the Mercedes Wilson Show was provided by Clothes Mentor in Tonawana, New York. Grade A looks for less.